Jose Mourinho it happened at Chelsea. It happened at Real Madrid and at this rate, it will happen at Manchester United. Jose Mourinho is a manager that has been tainted by his falling out with players at different clubs he has been at. The Portuguese manager, at the start of his managerial career was like a twelfth man, the final part of the team. His players could relate to him, but over the years, he has distanced himself from the players, though his training methods and opposition analysis are still up there with the best. Mourinho, in the last few years has become more aloof with his players, criticizing them in public, and demanding perfection at all times. There are reports emerging that some players are unhappy about a number of his methods. The game against Sevilla was an anti-climax, as United were expected to attack the Andalusians after playing for a goalless draw in the first leg. United were very pragmatic, offering none of the attacking fervor they are acclaimed for. The likes of Sanchez, Rashford, Lingard have not played to their optimum attacking levels. Mourinho is also threatening dressing room disharmony by falling out with several of his key players at different points this season. What happened to sticking with a player who is going through a bad patch? When Paul Pogba was struggling at the beginning of February, Mourinho benched him, offered no words of encouragement in the press, but would do the opposite if the tables were turned. At Real Madrid, he tried to take on club legends like Sergio Ramos and Iker Casillas, both. Men were established members of the dressing room, but Mourinho tried to take them on. By doing this, he got on the wrong side of the fans and board. The fans, players and the board are the heart of the club, and when a manager starts feeling bigger than these groups, it is a recipe for disaster. Mourinho has not treated the likes of Herrera, Darmian, Luke Shaw, Rashford, Marshall, Mata and a host of other players well enough. At crucial points of this campaign, this sends signals to other players that they could be next in line for criticism. The height of this phenomenon was when, at Chelsea, Mourinho fell out with the team doctor, Eva Carnero. It went downhill for him from that point as the players lost every iota of self-confidence and winning mentality they had. He was gone just seven months after winning the league, after overseeing nine defeats in his first 16 matches. While United is a different club to Chelsea, where players can fire managers almost at will, it will get to a point they become tired of him, and would not give anything again. His rant after the Sevilla game was shocking and highlights the way he is downplaying expectations of the biggest club in England. It shows that the Portuguese tactician has not learned the lessons of his previous positions. He never seems to leave a club on a good note, which is a factor clubs would look at in future if eventually he decides to leave the Manchester United dugout. Mourinho doesn't care whose ox is gored, but for modern players, there is a thin line between criticizing an individual fairly and just trying to embarrass them. It doesn't always bode well, as a new manager will get the best out of the same players that underperformed under the previous manager. Mourinho must tread carefully, or he will leave United under a cloud too.